This is Boxing Talk 8576. Um, I just got done looking, watching that, that um, uh, Chad Dawson, Tommy Carpenson um, light heavyweight fight. Um, the guy, um, Chad Dawson, was fighting was not really a full-time fighter, you know, up until his last couple fights. Um, he was working as a nurse. But he's a pretty good fighter, man. He came in there and had a good showing of himself. Um, it was a really close fight. Um, I had to fight up in the air, you know, the last couple rounds. Um, I had Chad Dawson win in a close fight, but the judges seen it in uh, Tommy Carr Pinson um, way. I have no, you know, qualms about that. Chad Dawson said he, he hurt his shoulder in the third round. Even um, the Carpensian kid, he said that um, he noticed Chad Dawson wasn't throwing any, um, throwing his left hand, and he noticed that um, he hurt his shoulder in the third round. But I don't know what's next for Chad Dawson, man. I mean, he lost, you know, he won his last fight, you know. I didn't see his last fight, but he won his last fight. Uh, they said that he won in the first round knockout, and that was his first fight in a year, so, you know. He didn't get to get off that much rust, you know, in that fight. And this fight was really, you know, considered his comeback fight because, you know, it it was he, he got some rounds in, you know. He was in there. He he didn't look bad. He he didn't look, you know, he wasn't aggressive enough. You know, typical Chad, you know, he come in there, kind of like laid back, you know. He don't really exert himself. I mean, he got all that talent. He just don't exert himself. Self. I don't know what's wrong with Chad Dawson. I mean, he just don't fully, fully believe in himself. He lost, he beat uh, Bernard Hopkins, and then he called out Andre Ward for him at 168, which was a mistake to fight the guy at 168. You should have made the guy come up to 175. You're the light heavyweight champion. You know, and in my opinion, the, one, the light heavyweight championship belt is more prestigious than the 168 title. I mean, period. It's just in history. You know, Archie Moore was light heavyweight, you know, champion. You know, uh, uh, Vander Holyfield was there. Michael Moore was there. So it's more uh, prestigious than the 168-pound, you know, division, period. So he should have made uh, Andre Ward come up to 175. And he got knocked out by Donna Stevenson after that. And it's just been a down. It's just been down here. I mean, Chad Dawson, I don't know what's next for him. You know, maybe he want to continue coming on the ladder. Maybe he want to, you know, give it up. He was very distraught after the fight. He thought he won the fight. It was a close fight. He should just be more assertive, man. I just thought, I know his shoulder was hurting, but, man, you got to, you got to throw caution to the wind. This is your career on the line. Just go for it, you know. Just, I mean, think about it tomorrow. If he would have threw, if he would used his hand at least 30 more percent in the fight after the third round, he probably would have won the fight, but he just didn't really use it. And, you know, the uh, Carpensian kid took advantage of it. He he fought pretty well, though. I mean, I'd like to see him again, you know, go up against, you know, some other some other um, guys at uh, light heavyweight and see, you know, how he does. But, you know, he's a full-time fighter now, so maybe he can get time and more time in the gym. He took this fight in three on a three-week notice. So, I don't know. Chad Dawson should have came out, should have probably won the fight. But uh, let me know what you think about what's what's next for Chad Dawson. This is uh, or the Carpissian kid. This is Boston Talk eight five seven six. I'm out.